Hi Capricorn, welcome to your May general reading. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Capricorn, we are going to take a look at the energies around you at this time. So we're going to take the energies as they come. Whatever messages need to come out, whatever is here, uh, is meant to be for whoever is watching this. So if it's not resonating for you, then it's probably not your story. Don't try to make it fit. Only take how and what resonates for you. So it could be love, it could be general, it could be work, career, finance. We're just going to take it as it comes and hopefully this resonates for you. This is intended for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female. Um, it could also be past, present, or future. Keep that in mind also. Um, and we'll see what we get for you Capricorns. I hope everybody's doing well, staying healthy and safe at this time. So let's see what... The messages are most needed for Capricorn. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. If you're new to the channel, welcome. This is a Zodiac Oracle. So we get a sign, element, or planet. And if you don't resonate with what comes out here, like if it's a sign, that's totally fine. Um, usually I can incorporate, into, incorporate it into the reading anyway. So let's see what we have here for Capricorn. In Capricorn, you can check the description box below. Tons of stuff down there. Lots of information. Please check that out. And if you're new... Feel free to check out my channel, like what you see. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. All that great stuff. Be greatly, greatly appreciated. And you get about four or five readings a month. So if you do, thank you so much and welcome. All right, Capricorn Collective. This is a general collective reading, not a private reading. All right, we got one here. So let's see what we have for you, Capricorn. So we have Mars energy. This is the energy of Aries but it doesn't have to be an Aries that you're dealing with. Um, could be anyone, could be for some of you, some around you uh, who's an Aries, could be anybody. Or maybe you have Aries in your chart or they have Aries in their chart. But Aries, um, Mars represents Aries, which is the emperor in the tarot. And this Mars energy is a very aggressive energy. It's about ambition, drive, um, kind of energy. So it can be a little forceful. It's about competitiveness, um, assertion, aggression, courage, confidence, passion, strength. It's like all that energy, you know, all that drive and ambition. So are we uh, ambitious about something? Um, getting in that emperor energy to take control of something or setting forth on something fearlessly? We'll see how that plays in. Mars is uh, 17 there, which is eight. And eight is about taking action, control, movement, that kind of energy. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. So with this deck here, I'll get an opening message for you, and then I'll get another for your energy, and then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot, and then we'll look at the actual situation, advice, possible outcome. I always go over the bottom of the decks also, and then we'll get some closing messages from that oracle over there. So let's see what we have for you, Capricorn. What is the opening message for the Capricorn Collective? Sun, Moon, Rising, Sun, Moon, Rising Venus. Jupiter, male or female, for the collective. What is the opening message for Capricorn Spirit, please? Thank you so much. I just want one for the opening. That's two. <laughs> one for the opening message. Okay, we'll take that one. And we have Bat here, which is 28. 28 together is 11, and that's two. 11 is also about being um, on the right path. Add it together too is about uh, unity partnerships. We do have air energy here, so I'm just going to read uh, a little bit about the bat, just a few little uh, words because I don't use this deck often enough, so I tend to forget a little bit. Uh, so just bear with me here. Looking beyond fear, unexpected transformations, good fortune. Hmm. So looking beyond fear, are we? So that's a good energy. So you may be, you know, getting over fears here and ready to take control of a situation, whatever that may be. So let's see. Let's see what your opening energy is or that opening message is telling you to maybe overcome some fears you have. Don't be afraid to take control of a situation, take the lead in the situation, whatever that may be for you. Um, but you may have unexpected uh, good luck coming in or fortune. All right. So what was the other key word there? Um,
unexpected transformation. So something may transform unexpectedly, which may bring you some good luck. And it may stem from getting over a fear and stepping forward and taking the lead in the situation. All right, so let's see what kind of energy you're in. Capricorn, all right, we'll take this one. So we have a spider. So we have air coming through again with spider. And now we have 25, which is seven. And seven is a very divinely guided spiritual number. So a spider, I, I'm guessing is about weaving, you know, doing the work, weaving um, your dreams into reality kind of energy. So let's see what the spider, and I opened it right here. Great connections, the web which ties us all together, communications. So I'm getting like worldwide web too. This might be something over the internet. Maybe for some of you, uh, and this may not resonate with everybody. So if it's not the internet, it could be anything. It could be a business opportunity. Maybe it's like starting a home business or something on the web. You see a lot of those like home businesses where, you know, you get started on the web. It's all on the internet. And maybe, you know, it's something you've always wanted to try because that does involve networking. I know I've done something like that in the past. I don't do it now. Some people are very successful. It wasn't cut out for me, but uh, some people are cut out for that. Maybe this is something you're cut out for because we do see connections in, you know, World Wide Web and networking and getting over fear. You could have a fear of, you know, being in this position of like being your own boss for some of you. This is telling you to spread your wings and uh, do something you wouldn't normally do. Maybe, you know, in this time of quarantine, everybody's looking for, you know, working at home or starting a new business from home or being their own entrepreneur or something like that. So let's see what's on the bottom here. So now we have water. And we have uh, 12 here, which is three. So three is about teamwork, collaboration, social energy, um, and community kind of energy, which could be three, could be like that networking, social online activity, which would make sense now since the state of the world. But water is about like going with the flow. Um, it can be about emotions, feelings. It's very healing energy, but it's also about, uh, very fluid and about just letting things transform as they are. And we did have uh, transformation there with the bat and just seeing where this goes and going with the flow. And it all starts with taking that first step and taking the lead and networking. <laughs> so, wow, okay. So let's see what this energy is for you, Capricorn. Let's clarify the situation. You Capricorn, Capricorn. All right, Capricorn. Let's see, let's clarify the energy here for Capricorn spirit, please. Someone rise in Venus and Jupiter, male or female for the general collective. The cards are sticking, okay. All right, let's shuffle them up. Let's get some energy. Let's clarify this energy for Capricorn, please. Death and rebirth. Some of you could have just lost a job. We have Scorpio energy here. doesn't have to be. Could have just lost a job, you know, with the state of the world. Right now, maybe some businesses are going under because they're not open. But this is about, you know, something ending, but then transcending, transforming, rebirthing, and uh, all that transformational energy, which we had here with the bat. So, and we have the wings again. So there's something here uh, might have come to an end. Some of you, maybe a job, and now you're like looking for something and you're like, oh, maybe I'll just work from home. Maybe you're scared to do this. I know for me, networking was very scary because I wasn't that type of person to do that. And I gave it my all, but it just was not for me. Prince of Cups energy here. So this is the Knight of Cups energy. So, you know, this is about taking forward movement in a loving, caring, compassionate energy. A nurturing kind of energy. As we have water here, and that's water. So let's see. Let's see. I think, you know, maybe you've moved on from something, but kind of like in a peaceful, calm way. If that makes any sense for some of you. You know, maybe you know whatever happened uh, came to an end, and you know it you know, like it couldn't be helped really. Like, you know, it's just what happened. The state of the world today. 
it is what it is sort of energy. So I'm just going to move on in a calm, peaceful energy in the search for something new here. So we have the moon, but you know, it's still a little uncertain. You know, I don't know what's going to happen. You can't see the path clearly. Uncertainty um, can be about, you know, illusions, secrets, um, deep feelings, but I'm not getting that. You know, I'm just getting can be fear, a little bit of fear. This can be Cancer or Pisces. A little bit of fear, you know, what's going to happen now. <laughs> now that something's ended for me and I'm not sure where I'm going. You know, what's going to happen? Not too sure. But this can be about intuition, you know, just trusting in your intuition that everything will be fine. So let's clarify a little more here for you. Six of Cups. So you could be moving back home. You could be, you know, where your childhood home was. You could be reconnecting to, you know, and you could be networking, you know, now that we're all sitting home, most of us that aren't essential workers could be sitting home and reconnecting to people from the past that you haven't, you know, talked to in a very long time through social media. And this would be that spider networking energy. And maybe an opportunity, you know, Prince of Cups, an opportunity comes up about, uh, you know, somebody's working from home, they have a, a business or something like that. And, you know, you could look into this opportunity or get some uh, information on this. Seven of Wands. Yeah, you may be a little defensive and on guard about it. Like, yeah, I don't know if that's cut out for me. I don't know if I can do that kind of energy at first. You may be like, eh, unsure. Like, mm, I don't know. But here's the sun. <laughs> so you may think about it for a time and then be like, you know what? You know, this may work out because the sun is here to bring... Total happiness, joy, success, victory, enlightenment, healing energy, happy home and family kind of energy. So you may be a little defensive, but then you may say, okay, you know, maybe there is potential here with the sun energy. It's Leo. doesn't have to be. So you may, you may try it out here, you know, because now you have the moon and the sun. So... You know, the sun always rises, which sheds light on things you can't see. So I think finally, you're, you know, you're going to feel a little confused or, you know, uh, I don't know, but then in defensive, but then I think maybe you'll be like, okay, let's uh, find out all information that I need to, you know, enlightenment, shed light on every little thing and then be like, you know what, maybe I can do this. Maybe I can. And just in my ear, my left ear is like ringing loudly. Okay, so that could be a confirmation for some. So let's see what your um, situation is here. So we do have the two of pentacles. So you may be, you know, balancing a lot right now between your finding. And this is change. So you may be balancing things around uh, through this change. So I do feel like here, especially with the death there, with something ending and then, you know, having to transform yourself, transcend yourself into something new. So this is the change here, juggling things around, you know, finances, your life, you know, what do I do now, career, pentacles of career, finance, you know, money. So definitely change there. But there's that opportunity. I can't make this up. <laughs> this is like a golden opportunity. And you see a lot of infomercials, commercials, you know, especially on YouTube about, you know, I'll make money from home and this is what, you know, do this, do that. And something may be legit here which you might find out you have a knack, you know, if you're a real people person, um, especially with that Knight of Cups there, someone who could be very, you know, maybe not emotional, but, but like fun, loving, peaceful, calm, you know, kind of energy. But there's a golden opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles built on a firm foundation, growth, abundance, wealth, prosperity for the long term. There's that opportunity coming in, the Ace of Pentacles. Ten of Cups, which would lead to your total happiness, joy, um, fulfillment in every single way. Some of you could be married or in a commitment or in a relationship where it is very uh, happy. You know, you feel like you're with your soulmate. But I feel like the one thing you're juggling right now for some who unfortunately may have lost their job or, you know, businesses may be going under. But now here's the Ace of Cups. So something divinely guided to you. We have two Aces here. So, though you may have fear of this golden opportunity, it's right here. 
and you're going to juggle around the idea for a while, but the energy is here to have total fulfillment in every single way with the Ace of Cups, feeling, you know, emotionally fulfilled um, in every single way. And it could be with this opportunity. Ace and the Ace, Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. So, wow. So let's get one more for your current situation. And I see the rainbow there for luck and expansion. Eight of Swords. So, yeah, I think you're still going to be trapped in your head a little bit. Interference. But Eight of Swords is usually mental entrapment, fear. Uh, can't get out of your own head, out of your own way. You still may think, oh, this isn't going to work. I can't do this. You know, uh, and maybe it's something you've never done before. And you're like, I just, I don't know. I just don't think I can do it. You may want to do it, give it a go. But I think the Eight of Swords, if you can get out of that Eight of Swords, because this person isn't really trapped. I mean, it's of their own doing. They can leave, walk out. There's plenty of space there to walk out, take a sword, cut those ties that bind you in your head and grab this golden opportunity. Cap, Capricorn. And be your own boss with the Emperor energy with Mars. To be assertive, aggressive, have courage and confidence and passion. All right, so this is being divinely guided to you. This change, yeah. So here's your advice or guidance is temperance energy here. This angel brings in things to you that are meant to be in your life. You know, this is about balance. It's about healing. It's about patience, peace, and harmony. So this, uh, and I forgot what angel this is, but anyway, this is divinely guided for you, meant to be. So they're telling you to, you know, balance out your energies because we do have the two pentacles here, which is about juggling around, you know, all these uh, things going around in your head, but to balance out your energies, be patient with yourself, have that courage, try to be peaceful, just go with the flow. All right, let's get more for your advice. Ten of Pentacles, oh my gosh. Ten of Pentacles, total wealth, abundance, happy home and family, well for your fam you and your family if you have a family or married or whatever here. If not, but you'll be set for the rest of your life here. You go from the ace to the ten. Wow. And if it's not like a home-based business or like a networking business, I mean, it could be just some sort of new job opportunity. So take it how it resonates for you. But some sort of golden opportunity coming in here. Advice for you. Six of Wands. So victory. Success. Victory. Here. Standing on top of the mountain. Getting, you know, waving that flag. Feeling very passionate and excited. And having that victory. Wow. And the Eight of Pentacles. You know, you, are, you will have to uh, put in the work. Um, put in the work. Maybe learn something new. Master that craft. But it's, you know, you will have to work, you know, nothing comes free, but I feel like it'll be more fulfilling for you than what you've done in, done in the past or whatever you're leaving. Wow. You put in the work, you get the golden opportunity, you put in the work and it leads you to the 10 of pentacles of being very successful. But first you have to balance out your um, fear, your energy, uh, the thoughts in your head and be patient and just kind of go with the flow. Because you see the temperance there pouring the water back and forth, back and forth, and there's the water there, which is about going with the flow. Just don't overthink it. Yeah, you are strong, courageous, and brave. Leo energy here. This is Sagittarius here. So strength, yeah. Having that confidence, that strength, that, uh, you know, being courageous and brave, having willpower, determination, stamina. Taming that beast, that fear from within here and having that strength to do so. So you may gain the strength here and overcome your fears. Nine of Pentacles. So gain here. So being successful, independent in your own right, um, having everything you need, being abundant, standing on your own two feet, regaining your independence and your stability. And finally, gaining the courage and the strength to do so. Princess of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. So there's that message coming in. This could be you, um, Page of Pentacles here. This could be you, you know, replying back to this opportunity. 
It's saying, you know, I accept. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to go with the flow. I'm going to give it my all and see what happens here. And it can lead you to the Ten of Pentacles in the Sun and the Ace of Cups. Wow. In the Six of Wands. Wow. Nine of Pentacles, all which to me is like the minor of either, you know, the Empress or the Emperor. So let's clarify the Princess of Pentacles. That's usually, you know, communication, very stable communication or good news or an offer, a stable offer. So this could be you communicating back. Okay, I'm going to give this a go. I'm going to give this a try. We've got the Ten of Swords. So let's see before we... Three Pentacles, so working. Working together, teamwork, collaboration. And did I not just say the Emperor, the Empress? Here's the Empress. So, Emperor, Empress. So, I think you're going to realize, you know what? I've had an ending. I lost something. You know, I have this opportunity, you know, and it's an opportunity. You know, you don't know how long this situation we're in now is going to last. And you have this golden opportunity maybe to work from home or start a business from home or something like that. And you're like, you know what? I'm in the Ten of Swords energy now. What does it hurt? So let's work on it. Teamwork, collaboration, networking. And then being that Emperor Empress here with the Empress here. So the Emperor Empress here is um, Libra Taurus. Doesn't have to be. Wow. And on the bottom of the deck here, we have the Prince of Wands. So moving forward uh, fearlessly, a lot of drive, passion, ambition, going for it. The Hangman, you know, thinking, taking Taking uh, time here to really think about it, though, still, but gaining new perspectives, enlightenment, and then moving forward passionately, exciting. Star, this is divinely guided for you, and I felt that with the Ace of Pentacles, a divinely guided opportunity coming in for you, golden opportunity. Faith, remaining uh, hopeful, optimistic. Um, this is a wish, a dream come true. Healing energy, the star, and then being a queen of pentacles, king or queen, doesn't matter. So this is Capricorn, that's your energy. Being in control and having everything you need, stable, abundant, prosperous, here with the Queen of Pentacles energy. Six of Swords, going to a better place. Leaving everything that you've been through, everything that you lost, is only leading you to a better place. A more calmful, peaceful, harmonious place, balanced place. The devil here so again i feel like it's that fear doubt that you can do this but what is coming into you is the two of cups energy so this is merging of something for you meant to be and it doesn't mean when another person can be just something coming into you and merging with that on a soul level and realizing okay this is, is meant for me and getting over that devil energy so that's what i'm feeling with that so this is aligned with what Probably is what you're meant to do here. If you can get over fear, doubt here, lead you to a better place. Being sufficient in everything you need with the Queen of Pentacles. Divinely guided uh, energy, which is dreams coming true. You know, you may still think about it, gain every perspective, enlightenment. But moving forward passionately and excited for this opportunity, Capricorn. So if some of you have fears, doubt, or wondering about some sort of new opportunity, whether you should take it, give it a try, or can it hurt? Because we have all this good energy here. And this victory is just like standing out to me. So in wealth and gain, wow, definitely a change here. All right, so let's get some closing messages for you. Just go with the flow, Capricorn. Just go for it. Spread your, spread your wings. Start networking. Start, you know, reaching out, taking the lead. All right, so let's get some closing messages for you. All right, this one definitely wanted to jump. Be patient. And we have 21-3, which is about teamwork and collaboration. And we do have patience with temperance here. So you may get a little impatient, maybe, you know, if it's not going, you know, exactly how you want it to go in the beginning, or maybe there's some difficulty, or it's a little confusing, or it's something that you've never done before, and you really have to learn the ropes. Um, just be patient with the whole um, process. All right, so what else do we have here? So we have turn back here, which is 51, which is six, which is about uh, healing and balance. So you may get in that energy where, like the, the 
little child is ready to go down the slide, but they're a little scared and they may like, I got to turn back. I can't do it. So you may be, you know, in that energy from time to time where I can't do it. I have to turn back. But it's saying here, you are safe. 84, uh, 48 here, which is 12, which is three, which is again about teamwork collaboration. So no, uh, this, I think that this opportunity I think is safe. Um, I feel like you'll be in good hands with either a mentor or uh, somebody here to show you the ropes. Fill the well. So I believe here 25-7, it's about uh, spirituality, faith, divinely guided energy. So I feel like somebody here is not going to leave you like empty and um, just kind of like off on your own. Somebody is always going to be there for you to help you fill the well to fill you know when you feel lost confused uh, not sure what to do somebody is there always going to be there to replenish you to give you hope to give you guidance to give you what you need so that you can keep moving forward i feel i feel like they're a leader because you see everybody here you know working together so this could be like a really great leader for you and somebody that could be really fun here with uh have fun so that is the energy I see Capricorn. So hopefully this resonated for you. I see a golden opportunity. I think you should go for it and go with the flow and try something new if you feel like that's uh, something uh, you're dealing with. So best of luck to you Capricorn. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.